Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukakadash, Devil Honest, to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom and salutations to the hopeful elect I came out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. All right. Shalom to the very few sisters that do listen up as well. I'm the brother Yarmai for the Great Millstone Chicago Cap. You know, basically coming back to you with another lesson. This lesson is um, I was thinking, you know, I was meditating in the spirit. I was thinking about that um, Second Ezra, the fourth chapter in the 28th verse, starting at the 28th verse, probably reading down to about 30, where it lets you know, or roughly quote it. That which, um, you know, that which has come, that that cannot come, which is good, unless it be taken away, the place where the evil is sown. And that's this earth right here, and mainly this place, America, all right? You know, the evil has been from the beginning, you know, since we first sinned, but, you know, he went into how much that evil and that wickedness has increased. And, you know, I always say, man, when I think about that scripture, you can't pour sugar on shit and call it a sandwich. And that's what our people like to do. That's what the two-thirds of Israel, you know, groveling activities like that. And, you know, that's why they don't want this place to be destroyed because there's no accountability in this place. There's no responsibility in this place. And there's definitely no humility in this place. And, you know, this America, you know, spelled with the three Ks, what it does is it gives these simple-minded, um, you know, these nobodies, these reprobates, these simple-minded niggas, the liberty, you know, in the false sense of hope of free doom. So they don't want to see this place go away, but they're, slow, they're, they're slowly seeing it right before their eyes. Well, they fastly seeing it right before their eyes. They, they won't admit that, you know, because they're proud. But a lot of people are tugging the coats of the prophets and the men of the Lord that want them, especially you damn women, and trying to get back on the gravy train. But see, our people really buck at the idea of the destruction of this place because they don't understand it's the salvation of the nation of Israel. And that's how you know they're the two thirds because they can't see past this. Like the elder Yashawamba says down in Dallas sometimes, they, you know, Jake think, see fucking America and think it's the end all be all. You know, they can't see themselves ruling over E, you know? A nigga can't see himself not paying rent, you know? Things of that nature, let alone being the king or someone who has subjects that's loyal to him, you know, that's serving him. You know, many women, you know, us being the men, the men being the men in control, you know, the men having the women in control. A lot of people can't see that, you know, that's, that's frowned upon the way these queen of heaven Babylonian niggas was raised, you know, but America lets them get away with that bullshit. You know, that's why it says in Hosea 4 and 4, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, seeing that they have rejected the law, he will also reject our children. You know, and he said it, he said in 4 and 4, he said, these are they that strive with the priests. You niggas have so much shit to say about us starting with the apostles and the elders on down, how we live and what we do and the sacrifice and the commitment we make towards the truth. And you niggas ain't never stood on one corner a day in your life and talked the shit you even say you believe. You know? Because those are those niggas. These are they that strive with the priests. You know? They're Sodom's children. You know? But the Lord said it. He said he'd forget them. All right, but why? Because they forgot him and they can't, and you can't name you know, one thing on the nigga finger, you know, hey, we listen to make him make it, you know. And I'm gonna say this because the scriptures let you know that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. How much more the ungodly and the sinner? So if the righteous, hopeful elect that's really out here sh trying, crying and sighing for the abominations that's done in the midst that rough, scarcely make it. How much more these niggas to hell with these goddamn niggas, man. They want to be here, and they're going to die and get plagued here, you know? 
they're going to get destroyed right along with this whore, man. The scriptures say he that touch the pit shall be defiled with it. They definitely defiled, man. They touched everything in this motherfucker. You know, the two-thirds of Israel have to really go, man. And if you don't believe that, cut on World Star Hip Hop. Cut on Instagram. Cut on YouTube. Look at these niggas, man. Look at their disregard for the Lord. But it's E and it's America, like I said, that's giving a false sense of hope, and they don't even know it. It's the Lord that they claim they don't believe in, giving them the rope to hang themselves. They see the prophets. They see the signs, you know. Our people have really lost their damn mind, but that's what the Lord said. You know, I don't know if I quoted it. I was thinking about it earlier. He said they forgot them days without number. Days without number. And our people, you know, outside of the men doing this work are in that mindset. But, you know, us coming back, you know, understanding that this is mercy and repenting. You know, we seek them ten times more, man. We have to really be in the spirit to put our boots on the ground and seek them ten times more and do everything that's commanded of us. That's, that's in our ability. And, you know go beyond above and beyond the call of duty so to speak because like the brother Yashirala had pointed out one time he said man you know the two-thirds are actually wicked because this their last time to do wickedness but it's our last shot at doing the work you know ain't gonna be no caps in the kingdom man the scriptures let you know whatever thou findest thy hand to do do it with all thy might man so this place is destroyed man you know our people are destroyed they, they don't see anything coming to them in the future, you know, so they rested here. You know, we know better. The scriptures say, arise ye and depart, for this is not our rest. We don't see this as our rest. We storing up our treasures in heaven, and, and we digging and not looking back, man. For sure, in the scriptures, Luke, what's that, 9 to 62? I could be wrong, but I think it's there. I quote it, man. No man having put his forth his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. We just in that spirit. This all we can do is dig and go and keep moving forward and leave these niggas here. Once again, leave these niggas here, man. I don't care if it's your, ba your baby mama is not your family, man. You know, you got ties to it through a child that probably ain't one of the elect anyway. And if it's one of the elect, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Leave these niggas here. The Lord will sort that out for you. If you're a man of the Lord, he said to give your heart's desire. Leave these niggas here. Leave your mama here. Your mama ain't for it, man. Your mama wants you to get married and go to the Christian church, man. Go to the white man college or something. Leave these niggas here. Leave them here, man. Cling to the brotherhood. The brotherhood is your family. These niggas are your relatives. These niggas don't want to see it come. That which is good. They don't want the most how to rule, but they're going to fall. Because how I said, they that were not that I reign over them, bring them, hide them, slay them before me. That's the destiny of a lot of these niggas that's here man the, your relatives that's really their destiny the black woman come on man good riddance you know you just better hope you make it you know and the lord to save who we want to save man he's going to do it the scriptures say he have mercy on whom he have mercy he have compassion on whom he have compassion there's no unrighteousness with the most high man the Lord is delivering his elect and he's condemning his place, whether these niggas like it or not. You know, Akim, stay to it, man. And get up and get at it and go through it to get through it, man. And this, you know, just a spiritual rant, a little walk and talk to step out for a minute, man. And, um, yeah, hey, that's about it, you know. Hopefully this rant was somewhat edifying and encouraging. Call aloud, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Bukakadash. All right, Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Shah, the true name of the Son, Ba'ashem, in the name of Kakadash, the Holy Spirit, man. All right, double honest to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught us this truth and to the hopeful elect. I'll keep him out there and do it. Inshallah,